In this video I'm going to be taking a look at permutations with identical objects. For my first formula we are going to use the number of distinct permutations of n objects with r identical objects is given by n factorial over r factorial where 1 is less than or equal to r is less than or equal to n. Alright, for our second formula, we're going to say that the number of distinct permutations of n objects with r sub 1 identical objects, r sub 2 identical objects of another kind, r sub 3 identical objects of another kind, so forth and so on, till we get r sub k identical objects of another kind. And that formula is going to be given by n factorial over um, all of those different factorials multiplied. So r sub 1 factorial times r sub 2 factorial r sub 3 factorial times however many you would have r sub k factorial. Alright, so two different formulas here that we're going to be focusing on. My example is going to focus on the second one, but permutations with identical objects. Now, what an example of that might look like. Let's say um, Julie is planting 11 colored flowers in a row. In how many ways can she plant 4 red flowers, 5 yellow flowers, and 2 purple flowers? Okay, so we've got identical objects, flowers, but they're just of a different kind because they're of a different color. All right, so we're going to set this up using the second formula. I've got a total of 11 flowers. So that was going to be my 11 factorial on top. All right, now I'm going to take each one of those three um, different colored flowers. So I've got four red, I've got five yellow, and I've got two purple. All right, so I need a... 4 factorial times a 5 factorial times 2 factorial on the bottom. All right, now um, let's do some simplifying with this um, as opposed to just grabbing a calculator right away. Let's go ahead and take that 11 factorial down to 5. So 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, and then we're going to leave that as a factorial. And then we've got 4 factorial times our 5 factorial times the 2 factorial on the bottom. All right, that's going to allow me then to cross out the 5 factorials really simply there. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, break down the denominator there a little bit. 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 across the top. And the 4 factorial is going to be a 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And the 2 factorial then will be the 2 times 1. All right, so um, let's do some crossing out here. Let's do uh, 4 times 2 is going to give me the 8 on top, so I can cross all of those out. Um, and 3 times 2 is going to give me 6, so I can cross all three of those out as well. All right, getting this down to a um, pretty small number now. So now we've got um, just a 1 on the bottom. Across my top, I've got an 11 times 10 times 9 times 7. And that's going to be a total of 6,930. So there's 6,930 ways that Julie can plant the flowers in a line. Okay, so just uh, one quick example there with a couple formulas on how you work out permutations with identical objects. Um, definitely thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up and be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.